Hello, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Absolutely. Yes. A lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by a fallen rubble. Now give me a moment to... okay, to remember how to play this game, because... That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. What, what happened out there? Kaliska shakes her head. When Storm, of a kind they only get in air Glanfav, not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanfav then know what is Bialaj. To them, it's the god's way of freeping the souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? But who attacked us? Glanfadans, those would be the hut dwellers, or them I warned you about. They looked to be fangs of Galvain, who are the twitches of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odema. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. The clan father said we trespassed into ruins. I don't believe that. Odema would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, the uh, clan fans don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or. She glances down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. Uh, what about everyone else in our caravan? Kaliska's lips pressed together and her chin rumples. Her voice is faint. <laughs> the wheels got hold of them now. She looks up. God's grant them better luck in their next lives. You don't seem to be upset about all this. Kaliska looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse too. Seeing people are and kept on walking. Cause there's nothing else to be done and cause there's other people you care about who still needs you. Right. Let's keep going. And... This seems to be opening into bigger area, so does this way. Okay. Okay, for sure I miss the tyranny minimap. Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. Yeah, don't step on that. What's that? Party AI is active. Great. Those symbols. Just like the tiles. You mean those? A curling symbol is inscribed on this pillar. An analytic brazier sits at its base. It could be lit if you had the means. Use your torch. Flames kindle swiftly in the brazier, winding their way upwards. Okay, let's kindle them all. The mural must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It shows a procession of Anguivans from all the kith races. Aumawa, Elf, Orlam, Dwarf and Human. They walk among pillars similar to the ones that span this chamber, each one topped with a flame. Okay, so now we see a way through there. I see a dead body here. Uh, lesser black ooze. Okay. Um, yes. uh, you can do the dull the edge blunt the point. What you need? Uh, I want you all to attack it. Oh, okay, we have AI. So. Injured, badly injured, near death, and done. Certainly. Uh, 
some loose. <laughs> Polax. None of you is using two-handed weapon. What's that muck on the wall? Viscous and oil, the smack clings to anything it touches. Viscous slick of something dark and tall like crumbs down this wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use your wooden skewer to clear off the ooze. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has stripped away in places, but the detail of his head, from the tight curls to hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty, a gem fills the other. Have lost an item, full water skin. I'm here. So, okay, if. We if we find a gem, it would be best to put it back here, I think. Unless there is an, another ooze behind, then it wouldn't be such a great idea. Hey. Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. I think we found the the, 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 the person whose stuff this is. What's with that? You see, it's like a pollen floating around. Hmm, interesting. Trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Noby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Xorib. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sigh. It's okay, I, I, I won't hurt you. The Xorib recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you. A soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. The creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Raise your arms and stand still. The creature cocks its head and approaches you. A soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Again. Okay, slowly back away. The Azuri portrait swirly as you go. Okay. <laughs> Nothing of interest. Okay, so let's find something of interest. The gem. This small folio is torn in several places and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. One le later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few round of, rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine Anguithian artifact. <laughs> Fellow who had it said it was a pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past the painted elves. I'll head to client Liz in the morning. Then it's just a matter of finding the relief he was talking about. Do you hear that? No. Let's head back. Oops. Here. Come on. Can you hurry up? Not really. Okay. The chamber begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. Another ooze. Yes, 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 thank you. Ooh, 
she's hurt? No. I think that's some ailment. Endurance, okay. So we first lose endurance. Yeah. She's uh, getting back. At once. Wait, that's all? <laughs> oh, that is. Minor cloak of protection. Amethyst and Adra. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see our equipment. Oh, we also have a Goon's Pledge. Which is... Uh, this item grants the ability to shield the wearer from the myriad perils that plague the world of Eora. An aspect of the god Ithoros, Goon represents the harvest of old age, symbolized here by the many interlocking sickles that form the ring. As Goon helps protect the dignity of old age, so too do his followers pledge to prevent young lives from being harvested before their time. Uh, sure. There you go. Uh, you are using battle axe. I am using this and shield. My is a little bit better. Uh, what's this? Giant miniature space piglet. Tiny obsidian. Wood. Give me those pets. I don't know why I have them, but give me those. They, oh. You cannot have the pet. I prefer worm. Um. Okay. You have two daggers or you have one dagger, so I think I would rather give you a crossbow here. Um. You have three lock picks, wolf hide. What is is that for anything? No, it's for crafting. Uh they wooden clothing, light armor, okay. I'm here. So now we have a pot pe pot pet. Okay. I like it. <laughs> okay, now I we need to check if you are smart enough to you are not smart enough. Run. I was incinerated. Uh, no, I'm. Uh, I am still I'm alive. Okay, hmm? so. Yes. Move. Do you feel that? There's a draft coming through that wall. I don't hear any sign of that storm either. What you need? What wall? Okay, and we yes. also regenerate health, just like in Tyranny. This is our way out, it seems. Um, can you walk in line, please? Yes. You guys are... Okay, never mind. Um, I'll save here. Why is he? Why am I always walking in the front? I have no idea. What you need? Well, that was us. Uh, are you gonna say that each time? I think we could get through. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. I mean, push it. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. Use the hammer and chisel. You set to work. The cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts, but the process is more taxing than you would expect it. Sweat beads through your forehead and your muscles begin to age. Ache. Okay. Uh, push on the wall. Some Kaliska. Kaliska pushes with all her might, and the crack begins to spread. Finally, the ancient mercenary gives way. The wall crashes down, revealing a circle of room ahead. I'm here. I could scout ahead. See what's around the corner. Hmm? Sure. Um. But what I wanted to do was change it to this. 
And yes. yeah, I wanted to take his ear. Is that what you want? You want the ear? And this will lead us back here. <laughs> this really perceives with your pack and knows exactly at something. It steps back and points to your pack, salivating and holding its spear out to you. Give it the meat. You produce a piece of scolder meat from your pack and toss it onto the floor. The Zurich's nostrils flare at the scent of fresh meat and its eyes dart between you and the food. It creeps toward the prize, shoving the spear into your grip and snatching the meat with both hands at the last moment. Its gullet quivers as it devours the flesh in noisy chomps. Thank you. Oh. Uh, you have strange illness and severe burn. Well, I wonder why that happened. Again, the spider. Yes, I think I'll rather keep him with ranged weapon. Ooh. Bloodstone and rapier. Don't you want it? No, you are using hedge. Bats as large as chickens are strung in the web. That's reassuring. Is the helmet here? I cannot wear helmets. It gives you something? I have no idea. Potion of minor regeneration. Oh, that's great. What? Well, this is one handed spear. Mm hmm. Reserve versus the it's honestly it's like your battle axe. This is better than the torch, but you are the only one carrying the torch, so I'm not gonna sacrifice the light. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled atra and metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick crepe beard, beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Both binder bear witness. And see, this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part. And you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? 
Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. As the far end, a great pillar of Adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or... or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick grey beard in ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking toward him now at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. You awaken to find your malaise has broken, only to be replaced by something far more concerning. Faint whispers are all the bloodied of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntarily paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hioden and Kaliska lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. I will take care Oops. Uh, of your stuff. I will take good care of your stuff. Oh. Um. Well, we have points to advance. Wait. Uh -huh, we have six points. Two into lower. And one here. Mm -hmm. And one more invocation. Yes, let's summon a phantom. Oh my goodness, invokes pro now we take talent. Um do we have speaking with animals? I don't think so. Um Invokers invokes a primal energy, causing allies within range to penny from constant endurance. Ooh, that's good, but now we are alone. The character has learned a portion of the intense pain to learn the special power that monks possess, their amount attacks no 
uh, as a hedge wizard, Rangers get them it. By adopting a strict discipline of fighter, the characters are able to place themselves in combat steadily, regaining endurance over time. Great. Done. This massive structure is formed of stone, adra and copper, and covered in strange glyphs. The air around it vibrates with an unusual energy. Vessel flash. We must go for the veil wood. But I think this is a good place to end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive. And see you soon. Bye.